Hey everyone, just a heads up, if this video hits 2,000 likes, I will release the My FX Book track record for this flip account. All right, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? I decided to have a different angle and I promise you from now on, no problems with the video and no problems with the audio. It is gonna be crystal clear from now on. In this video, I'm gonna show you the trading account where I took $30,000 back on December 20th, all the way up to over $100,000 right now. I think today's date is February 23rd. So from December 20th to February 23rd. So basically two months, two months and three days. I turned the 30K account into over $100,000. So the whole purpose of this video is to give you an idea of what was going on in my head the entire time. So every time I hit a certain milestone with a trading account, my psychology changed over and over and over again. And it got a bit harder as the account grew. Chances are you felt the same way if you've ever flipped an account from a small amount to a big amount. If you're watching this, you're like, oh yeah, I've done that before. Probably only a handful, maybe three of you watching this have ever turned a, you know, a 30K or maybe 10K account to six figures. You probably understand what I'm talking about. As the account got bigger and bigger, yeah, you're just following your strategy. You're just getting in the trades and you're just doing what you do. But the thing is, it's all mental, right? So when you see that your 30K account went to 60K, now you're feeling the emotion of like, okay, I just doubled the account. Now what? You're probably thinking, should I withdraw the profit? Should I withdraw some profits? Or should I just keep the money in the account so I can grow it and compound it? And here's what I will tell you. You'll notice here when I show you the account history, I'm not gonna do it just yet, but when I show you the account history, you're going to see that I only withdrew about 23,000 or something like that. What my goal was to, as the account was growing, my goal was to take profits along the way so I could eventually withdraw enough that added up to the, to the total amount that I deposited. So I deposited around 30,000 to $33,000 back in December 20th. And over the course of the two months, I was slowly making withdrawals of about, you know, thousand dollars here, two thousand dollars here, three thousand dollars here. So let's say I let's say I made fifteen thousand dollars in one week. What I would do is I'd withdraw probably like three or four thousand dollars of that fifteen thousand dollar profit. This way, the mentality is still the profitable mentality. What I mean by that is how many of you out there are trading right now and you, you just started trading and you haven't made a single withdrawal yet? Let's say you've had a thousand dollar day. Maybe you had a one thousand dollar week. Not once have you made a single withdrawal. That's a problem. That's a really big problem because you are setting yourself up for failure in the long term. Too many people, when they just start trading, they think, oh, let me just, you know, deposit this one thousand dollars and compound it to a million dollars in a few years. I promise you, you're going to fail at that and it's not going to work. The reason why is because you're not in a profitable state of mind. A profitable state of mind is when you are making withdrawals and you see that money hit your bank account or your Bitcoin wallet, whatever broker uh, you use that pays you and whatever it is. I'm personally using Hanko Trade. Link is down below. They're the sponsor for this channel. Um, so shout out to them. Uh, I've been using them for, I'd say, half a year now, a little bit, maybe more. I got to check to see when I signed up. But I've been using them for almost half a year now. And I receive all my withdrawals within 24 to 48 hours if you do it within the weekday, not the weekend. Um, the spread and the commissions are very low. So that's also why I specifically use Hanko Trade. It's because when you use other brokers, let's I'm assuming most of you are using a broker where maybe they charge you four dollars for a standard lot, which is pretty low. That's pretty decent. I'd say that's your average brokerage nowadays, is about four dollars per standard lot. With Hanko Trade, we're talking in or between one dollar to two dollars per standard lot. And the spread on average is about 0.5 pips. So like half a pip, or sometimes it's basically 0.1 pip, or sometimes zero pips. I'd say the pair with the lowest spread on Hanko Trade is Euro USD. That's virtually non-existent. The spread pretty much doesn't even exist on there. And gold, gold is really good as well. Uh, silver, of course, you're gonna have a bigger spread on silver. That's pretty obvious for pretty much any broker you use that allows trading on silver. And Bitcoin, the big, the the spread on Bitcoin, it's definitely not the best, but it is better than most brokerages. So I will say Hanko Trade, in my opinion, has been. Uh, the best the best experience I've had so far among a lot of brokerages. So shout out to you guys. Thank you, Hanko Trade. <laughs> what I'm going to do also in this video, I'm going to show you me making the withdrawal. So I'm going to place the withdrawal. And then once that trade, not trade, once that withdrawal hits my Bitcoin wallet within like a day or two, should be within 24 hours or less. Right now it's currently Tuesday. So I should get it either in the afternoon today or tomorrow. Um, I'm currently in a trade right now. So I'll probably make the withdrawal tomorrow. So once that withdrawal hits, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my phone as I open my Bitcoin wallet app. And as I open the app, it refreshes and it shows you the new transactions you just received. So you're going to see the withdrawal hitting my Bitcoin wallet live on camera. And I can't wait for that because there's a lot of people on social media. They, they show you them flipping accounts from like 10K to whatever, 30K, whatever. And if they don't, and if they 
have done that, a lot of times they won't even show you the proof. So they'll tell you like, oh, look, oh yeah, I turned $500 into 50K in a week. Okay, where's the proof? A lot of people don't actually show the proof and that's a problem. And then they sell their shitty, you know, five to seven pip take profit signals and they go buy seven cars in a big house, but they actually have no evidence of these big claims. So that's why I'm making this video, not for flexing, not for showing off. It's because if I'm going to make the claim like, yo, I turned 30K into 100K in two months, then I pretty much have to show you the evidence, which is the history and the withdrawals hitting my bank account, in this case, my Bitcoin wallet. So back to what I was saying before about the mentality that I had the entire time. So in the beginning, I told myself, I'm not here to flip the account really quick. I'm here to take my time. A lot of people think that when they are going to flip an account, they think that they have to do it within such a short period of time, which is like a day or like a week or, you know, maximum a month. That's where they go wrong. You actually got to, if you're going to flip an account, obviously you're not going to be using the best risk management the entire time. There will be times maybe you have like a 10, 20% drawdown and you're using a bit higher risk, a ri higher bit a bit of a higher risk than you really want to. Uh, but you don't want to have it with the goal in mind of, oh, I'm going to flip this in a week. That's how you're going to lose all the money. So take your time with each trade, even if it is slightly bit higher risk, take your time with each trade. And you also have to know when to cut your losses early. Uh, Timothy Sykes said that the best, that's why I love his channel. He dedicated an entire 20 minute long YouTube video telling you cut your losses early. Like literally the entire video was him saying cut losses early, cut losses early for 20 minutes straight. And that couldn't be more true if you plan to flip an account or just grow an account in terms of long-term wealth building or just making money as a day trader. You have to learn when to cut your losses early. So yes, there have been trades where I took where I lost like three grand, where, where I lost four grand, where I lost two grand. And that is tough, especially when you have a 3K, a 30K account. And when I flip that account to 60K, the emotion gets higher and higher and higher as the account gets bigger. Now, one thing I will say, it was pretty funny. Once I hit $98,000, that's when I had like a few losing trades that brought me down to $90,000. And then finally this morning, all right? So after I hit the 100K, once I hit the 100K goal, took my shower and I came here to the office to make this video. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was in the sell position for silver and I told myself I was four lots. So I had four standard lots in a sell position for silver. So I, you know, I was expecting silver to drop literally, I'm not even joking. I slept in and I think I woke up around like nine 30, almost 10 o'clock. Basically silver dropped literally the moment that I woke up. Silver was a micro pip away from hitting take profit. So I just closed all the positions. And then I hit, and I'll, I'll show you the screenshot right here. Cause I took a screenshot of it for evidence. So you can see that. And then I made an Instagram story of me closing those last two trades live that hit me to hundred K. Here's what I will say. If you're almost at your goal of your trading account, let's say your goal is to hit 50 K and you're at 48 K don't YOLO, right? <laughs> don't do that. doesn't matter how disciplined you are. Wait for the perfect setup, get into that trade, use your whatever lot size you're going to use, but don't YOLO, don't risk the entire thing just so you can hit your target and show off. But yeah, that's what I just really want to do. Uh, let me go ahead here, pull up my phone and I am going to show you the trade. I'm um, not the trade. I'm going to show you the trading account of, uh, me turning 30 K to hundred K ready. So right here, as you can see, I already have a trade open. It's USD CAD. Um, basically the first official signal that I called out in my app is now live, but, but it's only for beta testers right now. The, the mobile app has not officially launched just yet. Okay. So the mobile app as hasn't launched just yet, we hope to launch hopefully by the end of February, um, uh, we're pretty much done. I just needed to connect my company bank account to the Apple's thing. And, uh, so once we can receive payments and everything, it works. So pretty much within a week or two, we expect to go live and we're ready. So let me show you here. Uh, let's go back. So as you can see, this is what I was talking about, right? I kind of messed up because my emotions were high. I, I was at 98 K then I brought it down to 90 K and then the last two trades made 7,600 and 2,400 on those trades. So, uh, that pretty much paid off. So let's go ahead and go here to December 20th of 2020, all the way up till now, the current time. And we're going to scroll all the way back up. So you see that $29,000 de uh, deposit and the $1,000 deposit. And as you scroll down, you see the losses, right? I have losses like everyone else, $1,000, $800, $400. Then we see the bigger profits here, silver, all right, some Forex pairs. But yeah, as we scroll down, you just see the history here. You see the profits here and then Bitcoin, all right? January was the really good month. Let me give you a little fun fact about trading with Hanko Trade. When you trade with Hanko Trade, one standard lot is equivalent to you having one full Bitcoin. So that means if you trade with one standard lot on Hanko Trade and 
let's say you place a sell position and Bitcoin falls by a thousand dollars, you just made a thousand dollars because it's equivalent to you having one full Bitcoin. So literally, if I want to, I could just keep this hundred K account, get into one Bitcoin trade and let it ride up to a hundred thousand dollars and I'll make fifty thousand dollars because one standard law is equivalent to you holding one full Bitcoin. So the profits or losses you make will be dependent on what it's like to hold one full Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin rises by ten thousand dollars in a day, you'll make ten K if you were in a buy position. So a lot of benefits with trading with Hanko Trade. That's why I use them here. So as you can see, it deposited thirty-one thousand dollars back in December, and then I made ninety-two thousand dollars, and I withdrew only twenty-four thousand. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to withdraw the entire account. You heard that correctly. So once this trade closes, this USD cash trade, whether I hit stop loss, take profit, I'm going to withdraw the entire account and. Uh, live you're going to see it hit my bitcoin wallet so hopefully i didn't repeat things too much in this video the whole point of the video was to show you uh the thing i believe if someone's going to make a claim they have to show the evidence otherwise they're a fraud a lot of people out there you probably follow on social media make these big claims they suddenly make a claim like oh i i made six figures trading well guess what they haven't shown you any evidence of that whatsoever and uh they're frauds <laughs> that's it and we'll come back when i make the withdrawal so you can see it by the way if my voice has been sounding all slurred, I have Invisalign, so my voice is a bit different. So hopefully it wasn't too noticeable, but some people will notice. Anyways, let's make the withdrawal and then let's check out my Bitcoin wallet so you can see uh, the Hanko trade withdrawal actually going through. Hey, how's it going everyone? I just got back from a walk around the neighborhood. So if I look all sweaty, whatever, you know what just happened. Um, so right now I'm at my computer. I just made the withdrawal. I actually made the withdrawal earlier, like in the morning, afternoon, whatever. I made the withdrawal for the 100K and it should be processed tomorrow. So if they don't process it the day you withdraw it, then it'll get processed the following day. So let me show you here on the computer. I refresh the page and everything. You can see the withdrawal I made and you can see all the other withdrawals I made, which are the same ones you saw on the MetaTrader uh, for history tab as well. So I'm going to flip the screen and then you're going to see the $100,000 withdrawal. Okay, so here we are. Here's the Hanka Trade back office. Um, editor, please obviously blur out my account numbers here, uh, but it's it's all from the same account pretty much. So as you can see here, we have uh, the hundred thousand dollar withdrawal, and we have all the other withdrawals on the the account: twenty nine hundred, eight hundred, twenty seven hundred, twenty nine hundred, thirty six hundred. It's all there, and it shows you, shows you that they've all been approved. If one says it's denied, it's because I reached out to them and I said, "Hey, please do not." make the withdrawal because I changed my mind. I decided to keep the money in the account to continue trading it. So that's the only reason why you'll see like one or two of them say denied. I reached out and I told them, hey, please don't process it to help me, you know, so I can continue growing the account faster. Anyways, let's go ahead and refresh the page. And when you refresh the page, we're going to go back. See now it says deposit withdrawal history. I'm going to click on withdrawal history. And once again, editor cover the account numbers. And so as you can see right there, $100,000 via Bitcoin and it is pending. So uh, tomorrow, technically today, cause it's 12.20 AM my time, tomorrow uh, in the morning, probably around six to eight o'clock AM Eastern Standard Time, my time, the withdrawal will get processed and hit my Bitcoin wallet. So when that does happen, we'll record it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, editor, you know, please cover my account number right there. But as you can see uh, from Hanko Trade to Justin, your withdrawal request of $100,000 was approved. So I'm gonna to go to the office now and I'm gonna record me opening up my Bitcoin wallet and showing you it hit my account. Hey, how's it going everyone? I am back, it is day two. I just made the withdrawal and it officially hit my account. I did not open my Bitcoin wallet yet, so it didn't show the transaction because I wanted to do it here live on video for you. Now you're gonna see the withdrawal hit my Bitcoin wallet live. You're gonna see the 100K hit it. So. I hope this inspires you to never give up in your trading journey. I don't care what phase you're in right now. If you aren't profitable, if you just started, whatever you are, uh, wherever you are in your journey, never give up. It took me six years to get to this point where I can flip accounts like this and just, you know, long term grow my investing for stocks, options, Forex, crypto, pretty much anything. Uh, it took me going on six years, so it's not going to happen right away. It's going to take you a while. But anyways, let's just get right to it. I'm going to pull out my phone. Let me go ahead and turn on the recorder here. Okay, so my phone is officially recording. Editor, of course, please cover up my Robin Hood widget that I have. <laughs> so I have a widget that shows my open transactions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the Exodus. So if you guys wanna know, Exodus is basic Exodus is a Bitcoin wallet app for your phone that basically turns your phone into a cold storage device. It, it's one of those, it's definitely one of the best apps out there. They also have a desktop version of the app. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to open up the app and let me put this on do not disturb 
because I know people are going to call me and text me during this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm going to open up the app and then we're going to see the transaction deposit live. Ready? So here we go. I'm going to unlock it. Face ID. And here we go. There we go. Boom. It just deposited. For some reason, it didn't show the notification at the top, which is dumb. It always does it, but right now is the one time it didn't show the notification. Oh, there we go. Okay, so when I swipe down, when I swipe down on my phone, it shows it. So you can see right there, it says Bitcoin received. I received 1.95 Bitcoin. So if we were to ask Siri how many uh, Bitcoin is considered $100,000, it'll probably say 1.95 around that. Now let's go ahead and open up it right here. Let's scroll down. And as you can see, I received $96,648. Now you're probably wondering, Justin, I thought you withdrew 100,000. I did, but you have to remember as Bitcoin fluctuates and the transaction stuff with brokerages, this is the downside. And this is something you have to remember if you're gonna get into trading Forex and uh, if you're gonna use an offshore brokerage where they pay out in Bitcoin, the downside is let's say for example, you withdraw $1,000, you might receive $995. So it, it's it, that's the part that sucks. That's the one thing that I will say I don't like about them. But it's worth it considering you have the freedom to do what you want with your money. You know, a lot of brokerages, yeah, especially U.S. brokerages, you know, the benefit is you have the regulation and all that, but you don't have the freedom. You know, you have the FIFO rule, you have a hedging rule, and uh, you have account deposit limits and restrictions and withdrawal restrictions. With, off with offshore brokerages, you can do whatever you want. You know, just pay your taxes, do everything, and you're perfectly fine. But, uh, but that right there. So I received 96000 right there. Boom. My first almost six figure withdrawal technically was six figure withdrawal 100k but because of the bitcoin you know fluctuating and i'm guessing transaction stuff it just wasn't exactly 100k so that is a bummer for me to see that live but hey 96k just like that so i hope you enjoyed the video i know the ending was pretty anticlimactic because it didn't show the notification up here at the top of the phone so as you can see when i swipe down it showed the notification from two minutes ago i received it every time when i open the app it always shows the transaction happening live. Um, if I open the app and I have missed transactions, it, it tells it to me at the top. But this is the one time it didn't do it. I know why, it's because I do not disturb on. <laughs> I'm so dumb, that's why. So anyways, but you'll see it right there. So I received it. Unfortunately, it wasn't the full 100K. I received about uh, $4,000 less than what I initially withdrew. I know that sucks, but at the end of the day, uh, it is with Bitcoin and you have the complete freedom of doing what you want with Bitcoin. So that is, even though that is one downside of trading with an offshore brokerage, I'll take the downsides more than any positive side with a US based brokerage because there's just so much bureaucracy and red tape with these brokerages. It's ridiculous. So uh, thank you, Hanko Trade, for the under 24 hour payout with the six figure withdrawal. And I hope that inspired you guys. Go out there, trade smart, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.